Um, good evening to everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm how fine. was your day? How was your day today? Good? Good. Very good. Very good. Okay, very so um we're going to start with a video conference that corresponds for um uh, tonight for this uh wednesday and uh as you know we are going to be finishing uh finishing i mean the the, the course tomorrow uh, tomorrow on tuesday i mean uh, thursday okay that's mean that uh, we have just one video conference previous uh, to the the other one this coming uh, the, the one that we're going to be developing this coming uh, Thursday. Um, now we are going to be like checking the last things about the present perfect, and also we are going to be studying uh, well and. Uh, a vocabulary that I had prepared for you for this night. And also, uh, we are going to be uh, checking uh, the exercises for this section number five, okay? Um, I'm going to share my screen right now. Just give me a second. Um, here we have a, my screen, the lesson objective. A, the lesson, I don't know if you can see my screen right now. Can you see yes, my screen? Can. Yes, okay. For this lesson objective, uh, it says that in these sessions, um, the use of for and since will be explained through an audio. And, and, and also, uh, I can add that we're going to be developing some exercises uh, here in the platform and also in a web page. I'm going to uh, I'm going to put uh, the video. I'm going to play the video, and I need you to pay attention to the uses of war and scenes. Hello. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play the video right now and uh, pay attention to it. Okay, I'll be back. The use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. 
We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. It was wonderful. Okay, um, in this part, uh, we have the uses of foreign themes. As you know, uh, we uh, have in a video, uh, when do we use uh, for and when do we use scenes? Do you remember that? When do we use it? When do we use for and when do we use scenes? For, uh, it uses when is an specific time. Mm -hmm. Or a, a period of time. And okay, a period of time. Mm -hmm. In seems? Seems is um, ah, in a specific time. In a specific time, yes. Okay, uh, here we have two different questions. Uh, the first one, it says, how long do you live in Thailand? And the other question, it says, how long have you lived in Miami? Uh, if we notice here, we are using two different tenses. Do, can you identify what kind of tenses are we using there? Can you identify what kind of tenses are we using there on those questions? And the past tense. The past the tense, okay. Different. In, in this case, I'm referring to the tense. Uh, like, um, is it present, I mean, simple present, uh, simple past, uh, present perfect, past uh, perfect, present continuous. Those are the tenses that we have in English. What kind of uh, tense are we using here? Present, uh, present perfect, it's used in one of the example. Okay, uh, but which one? The first one or the second one? The which? second one. The second one, oh, okay, second. yes. There we're using the present perfect, okay. In what type of tense or, or what kind of tense are we using on the first sentence? Simple past. Simple past, yes. Those are the tenses that we have there. Okay, check it out, these, these details. When we use simple past, we are going to be using the sentence, uh, in this case for answering that, that uh, type of questions in simple past, like the example that we have here. I live there for two years. If we notice there, we, in simple past, we are going to use just for. In the case of the present perfect, in the question that we have like, how long have you lived in Miami? We have two different uh, options for answering that question. The first one, yeah. it says, I live here for six months. I love it here, okay? And the second option that we have is, I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Okay, do we have those different type of questions? Um, the first one, <clears throat> we have just only uh, the uses of for. In, in the second one, we have uh, the uses of for and the uses of since. Give me a second. Okay, sorry. Um, well, then we have those examples. Let's go to the following slide. 
because in this part we're going to find um, how we use it, what, what is the purpose of using for, and what is the purpose of using since. Uh, we're going to um, start talking about for first. Um, uh, in this, okay, in these constructions of the sentence, in this part of the sentence, uh, we are going to be using for plus a period of time. In this case, when we said like six year, we are referring to a specific period of time. Like in this case, period of time uh, that start uh, in the first date of the of the years in the last date of the years that we are referring to. In this case, if we have six year, we are referring to uh, six. Okay, that mean um, that in the case of four, we are going to set in that way, like a week, like a month, like hours, like uh, a specific course, if we can say like um, two hours, three hours, four hours. And uh, those are going to be like, like the periods of time that we're going to create. We can create more than that, like uh, for two weeks, for instance, for uh, seven weeks, we can change the, the, the determiner there and a specified different like period of time, not only those that we have there in, in the slide. We can use more and that's going to depend to the context, to the uh, a period of time that we want to refer to. Um, but how we use present a uh, perfect with four. Uh, we have one example here that it says, I had worked here for five years. I had worked here for five years. Then we have the, the first sentence using the present perfect. Okay, uh, the structures is going to be like this. Subject, auxiliary verb, best uh, verb in, in participle, a complement, and also we are going to use in that complement the um, phrase for in the period of time, okay? Four plus period of time. Um, then we have some other examples, like she has lived here for 20 uh, years. Uh, we have thought at uh, this school for a long time. When we said a long time, we are referring to a period of time, but it's undetermined. Um, because we are not saying uh, like the period of time is specifically. We're saying that it was a long time, but we don't know uh, um, the period of time we are referring to, okay? In that way, we can say, we can use it in that way because we are referring to a period of time, but it's not a specific. I don't know if it's, if I'm uh, clear on it. I'm clear on it? Yes. Yes, okay. So, and also we have the other examples that it says, uh, Alice has been married for three months. They had been at the hotel for a week. Okay, Th those are uh, some of the examples that we can use. Um, in the case of uh, in the case of the 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 sentence number three, which says Alice has been married for three months. In this case, we are using like the, the present perfect, uh, but using the, the past participle being in order to use the, the, the next uh, verb there, okay? So uh, this is the first part, how we use for, and what is the purpose of using for? In the, in the third slide, we are going to find the uses of scenes. Plus a specific moment, since this. Okay, scenes is like more specific. Like, like when we say this morning, like when we say last week, like yesterday, Wednesday. So since is going to be used for that purpose because we are referring to a moment, okay? Uh, that in this case, the, the period of time is going to be like a little bit short. Like if I say this morning, that's mean that uh, this morning start at six and end at, 12, but it's recently, um, and, and, and it is specific because that, that's the, that's the uh, key in, that, in its part, because we are going to be referring to a 
to period of time, that's going to be a specific. If I say last week is a period of time, but it's a specific, okay? No, uh, we're not going to be using like, like in the, in the, in the previous slide, we, we, we were using like four because in four is, you notice, in this part, we are going to be like uh, more, we are going to be answering like a, a, a little bit more general, like six years, like a week, we are setting just a period of time. In the next one, give me a second. In the next one, we have uh, the example uh, for present perfect with scenes. Check it out, these details. Um, if we use like, she has lived here since 1980s, uh, there we are using a specific period of time because this, this is in a specific moment uh, when I start living there. Uh, if I say we have thought that this school since since 1965, I'm setting just in a specific period of time. We can use since uh, like with with uh, years, okay? We can we can use since with a date of the weeks. We can use since with um, with hours mm -hmm. if we are going to refer to an to a specific hours. Uh, we can use scenes with uh, this morning, okay, uh, yesterday, tomorrow. Uh, I mean, uh, since since uh, tomorrow is not is not an option there because we are going to we are using scenes. Sorry, in in that case, we are going to use like like um a previous period of time that we are referring in in present perfect. The examples that we have here in, in number three, we have just changed. If, if you know, we have just changed the word for, for um, a, a specifying a, some moments. It, we're using the same song, the examples there. In the, in the first one, check it out this. She has lived here for 20 years. Is different mm -hmm. from saying like, she has lived here from, uh, I mean, since 1980. Okay, we if we are if we were in 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 uh, 2000, that means um, 20 20 years. Okay, that um, if we update that date uh, from the ones that we have right now. Uh, how many years do we have for that sentence till this moment? From 1980s to uh, uh, 2021, how many years do we have? From 1980s mm -hmm. to 2021, how many years do we have? We have? 41. 41, exactly. Okay. So um, if we are going to reconstruct or to rewrite the sentence, the previous sentence, um, that's mean that in this sentence we are going to say, ah, she has been living here for 41 years. Okay. That, that's just an update to this sentence. <laughs> Uh, the other examples that we have here, it says, we have thought at this school since 1961. If we notice, that's a lot of time uh, from, from uh, 1961 to 2021. Um, and, and in that way, we can be like changing, we can be rewriting those sentences. Instead of saying like uh, the specific uh, moment, we are going, we can say, or we can use, period of time. You are going to do an activity with this uh, type of sentence. You are going to um, um, write things about you, okay? 
for instance, about your uh, work, how many times you ha have you been working, um, things like if you have been uh, taking classes in English, since what? So you 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 can uh, specify those things uh, in sentences. Uh, remember, you are going to use the present perfect, okay? Present perfect is needed in this type of uh, sentence for using for and for using since. Let's start working. Right, um, I think uh, one sentence using for and one sentence using since. You're going to have five minutes. You can send the sentences here in the chat box of this video conference, or if you want, you can send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? You decide. <clears throat> Teacher, I have a question. Ah, oh, sorry. Tell me. I was muted. I was saying, tell me. Uh, uh, es una oración usando el presente perfecto y utilizando things. Yes. Sí, um, sí, yes. Sí, y una oración utilizando presente perfecto con for, utilizando for. Ok. ¿Y se la vamos a mandar eh, al WhatsApp? A WhatsApp o lo pueden enviar este al, al, al chat de esta videoconferencia. Ustedes deciden. Ok. Ok. Muy bien, todos los ejemplos que estoy viendo de momento están correctos. 24. 
years. Aquí donde tenemos la oración que dice Mariana, eh, Mariana was engaged to Manuel for six eh, months. We, aquí necesitamos utilizar el presente perfecto eh, y podríamos utilizarlo de la siguiente manera. Mariana has been engaged eh, to Manuel for six months. Ok, teacher. Ok. I believe I've been working la constancia since 19. Ok. Study. Muy bien. Excelente. Veamos si alguien ha enviado por aquí en WhatsApp. No. Bye. Excelente, sí, toda la, todas las oraciones, solamente esa que mencionaba, necesitaba corrección, de ahí todas las demás están muy bien redactadas. En este caso, uh, don Jimmy, eh, una, una pequeña corrección, el uso del, del has y el have. Cuando utilizamos okay. primera persona, utilizamos el have. Ok, okay. I have lead for eh, 12 years. Or you can say, I have lived here for 12 years. Okay. Okay. Ahí el has, el has, solo el, el, el has de esa manera se utiliza únicamente con he, con she y con it. Con esos tres. Con I se utiliza have. Okay. Y veamos quién más. She has lived with that is since 1998. Okay. Muy bien. Excelente. Perfecto. Ahora bien, ¿qué vamos a hacer? En el chat de esta videoconferencia les voy a compartir a ustedes un ejercicio. Este ejercicio tiene que ver siempre con el uso del for y el since. Aquí lo que ustedes tienen que hacer es identificar cuál de, de ellos dos es el que vamos a utilizar. Son 15 oraciones. Cuando lo completen, ustedes le tienen que dar check al final y le van a hacer una captura. Esa captura me la van a enviar este, a, a, al grupo de WhatsApp, pero cuando finalicemos la videoconferencia, porque ahorita pues, podemos agarrar copias. Ok, les comparto el enlace en este momento. Perfecto. Ok, teacher, yo escuché bien entrecortado, no, no oí muy bien lo que dijo. Oh, ok, bien. seguramente la señal. Le, le decía, Miss Herrera, no sé si me escucha este, bien ahorita. Ahorita sí. Ahorita sí, vale. Les decía que les voy a compartir un enlace donde este, vamos a poner en práctica el uso del since y el for. Eh, en ese enlace que yo les voy a compartir, este, le van a hacer una captura. Y la captura me la van a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp con la diferencia que no me lo van a enviar ahorita, me lo van a enviar después de la videoconferencia. Pero lo vamos a, excuse me, eh, pero lo vamos a trabajar ahorita. Lo vamos a trabajar ahorita, así es. ¿Sí? Lo va a enviar al, al WhatsApp. No. Eh, lo voy a enviar a, al chat de, bueno, lo voy a enviar en, en ambos lugares para que ustedes tengan el acceso en ambos este dispositivos tanto en su teléfono Ajá, como porque para hacer la captura bueno este es sí En ese, de un momento se los comparto. No era lo que mandó, yo ya lo abrí. Sí, pero sí. no, no. 
O sea, es el mismo enlace. No, 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 no. Is the same link. Oh, yeah. Okay, is the, the same is the same that I share here in the chat box. Do, do you um do you find a link? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. So I'm sending to you the link right now. Check it out there and let me know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. There we have. That's the link that we have for practicing uh, the uses of uh, scenes and four. You are going to have, uh, I think that six minutes is okay. Six minutes is okay. Okay. If you need more time, please let me know. If not, we are going to continue with the with the explanation of the topic and also trying to solve the exercise that we have for section number five. If you finish, just let me know, uh, write in ready. You can use the chat box or you can use the chat of, of uh, well, in this case, the, the WhatsApp group. Todos eh, pudieron acceder al enlace. Don Manuel, ¿ya tienen enlace? Yo sí, ya estoy trabajando en él. Excelente, muy bien. ¿Cuánto tiempo vamos a tener? Seis minutos. Ok. Ah, ok. Gracias. Bueno, el tiempo inicia desde este momento, ¿ok?
You finished? Yes, teacher. I'm finished, teacher. Okay, very good. Finished, teacher. I finished, teacher. Excellent. Okay. Teacher, tell me. En lo que mis compañeros terminan sobre quería preguntar si había preguntado sobre los certificados. Este sí. Lo único que lo que me contestaron fue que este lo estaban arreglando con el proveedor de ellos de la plataforma. Este uh -huh. que es, se supone que son ellos quienes se lo habilitan para que ustedes los puedan descargar. Eso fue la, la respuesta que, que obtuve de ellos. Vaya. Está bien, Ticha. Bueno. Bye. En el caso este del uso del since y el for, eh, there is another way, in order to identify when are we going to use it. Like for instance, um, you can use for when we are going to uh, uh, express like um, uh, or, or we are going to answer in this way like the question how long. Okay, how long? That's mean an specific, uh, an specific period of time. But in the case of scenes, we can use it like an starting, we can use like, uh, uh, if we are going to, to say something, like the starting point of something. Okay, in this case, uh, an specific uh, time. Like when the start, that's the, the question that we can uh, answer in, in that way. In order to use since and in order to use for. For is like how long and since is like uh, answering the question uh, when did it start? When did it start? So, um, in the case of uh, for and since, we have another ex exercise, but this is going to be collaborative. Uh, I'm going to share this link and you are going to uh, do the following. Just let me. Let me share this link to you. Okay, one of you is going to uh, present, if you want, eh, the web page. Uh, uno de ustedes lo que, lo que va a hacer es uh, eh, presentar su, su, la pantalla de su computadora para que puedan ver el ejercicio y lo trabajen juntos. Eh, y otro detalle este, que ustedes también este, pueden hacer 
si no pueden compartirlo, es como tomar notas. Eh, aquí lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Solamente uno va a iniciar el ejercicio porque si lo inician dos, eh, las preguntas, bueno, en, el, en este caso los ejercicios van a variar. Por ejemplo, si, si lo inicia Miss Patricia y, y, y Mr. Jesús, Mr. Sánchez, eh, lo que va a suceder es que Mr. Sánchez va a tener un ejercicio y Miss eh, Herrera va a tener otro. ¿Ok? Entonces no van a coincidir, es lo único. Así que solamente uno eh, inicie el ejercicio y los demás, eh, en este caso, bueno, el, 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 el compañero con quien, usted, que, con quien a usted le toque trabajar, eh, pues ayuden a resolverlo. La indicación dice, dice lo siguiente. Seleccione un verbo y escriba una oración en presente perfecto. Luego de ello, ustedes deben eh, revisar o chequear eh, que le corresponda este, a la respuesta que ustedes tienen que dar. Van a tener una imagen y van a tener este, oraciones. Ustedes deciden eh, cómo formarlas. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Les comparto el enlace por medio de el chatbox. Y lo hago también utilizando. Ok. Ahí tenemos. Son esos dos, bueno, ese enlace, ¿verdad? Y los equipos los voy a crear en este momento. Vamos a irnos a los breakout rooms. ¿Alguna consulta, Miss Patricia? Creo que no me ha... Ah, ya me abrí. Hola. El ejercicio es hold on. Ok. Muy bien. Eh, los voy a enviar ahorita a los breakout rooms y acepten la invitación para unirse. Cualquier consulta me lo, pueden, me lo pueden hacer saber. No sé si tiene alguna duda en este momento. Sí, no. Eh, creo que no. No, teacher. Yo estoy teniendo falla con el Inter, teacher. Ah, ok. Pero, vale. Pero los ejercicios los puedes resolver. No descargué ahí paquete porque me está bien lento. Oh, ok. En este caso, este, eh, Mr. Sánchez, lo que podemos hacer es que eh, luego usted puede ver la, como la videoconferencia grabada. Este, ahí se va a escuchar mejor el audio. Y los ejercicios los puede resolver este, si gusta y enviarlos eh, luego. Ok. Ok, está bien, teacher. Vaya, está bien. Recordemos que estos ejercicios no son obligatorios, simplemente son prácticos, ¿ok? Para practicar. Hi, good evening. Good evening. ¿Puedes compartir pantalla? No, no puedo. Pues y también voy a ver tengo... si puedo yo. Uh -huh, porque tengo problemas y estoy con los datos y no sé si me van. A ver, ok, se ven. Voy a, voy a compartirlo ya que estoy por wifi. Quiero ver si puedo. Vaya. Solo déjame meterme. Vaya. Uh, uh, uh.
escuché. Ah, ok. Este... Voy a tratar de compartir entonces la pantalla yo. Uh -huh. Ok, está bien. Okay. Bueno. Por long time. Está bien, dice Manuel. Entonces, la, la, la primera sería así. They have married for a long time. Hola, Manuel. Sí. Sí. Vamos a ver la segunda. Copió la primera, Manuel. La primera dice. Sería, they has. Dale, dígame. They has. They has. Mario. For long time. Uh -huh. Sí. Ya, ya la. Bye. Ya la chequeé y está correcta. Vamos a ver la segunda. Dice. Bueno, tecnología. Quiero ver aquí. Tendría que ser al siguiente. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde le hago? Para pasar a la siguiente. Ahí hay una. Uh, I broke my leg yesterday. Dice que él se quebró la pierna ayer. Entonces, como está. How long had I had a broken leg? Como esta sería una interrogativa, utilizando siempre el presente perfecto. Vamos a ver cómo, cómo nos sale, mamá. Um, Y me confundió porque tiene dos, hay dos, dos oraciones. Una es interrogativa y la otra es afirmativa, mamá. Una dice, ¿por cuánto tiempo? Dice. O desde cuándo me quebra la pierna, dice. La otra dice, yo me quebré la pierna ayer. Vamos a ver. Vamos a escribirla. Si le ocurre algo, me avisa, Manuel. El bro. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Dice sí. Está bien, dice. I broke my leg since yesterday. Hola, Manuel. Hola, Manuel. Hola Manuel. Manuel. Vamos a la tercera, Manuel. I think that Manuel had some problems uh, with uh, his internet connection. He mentioned okay. something something like that uh, some moments ago. Voy a tratar de avanzar, Cucho. 
Okay, go ahead. Do you have any question? No, teacher. So, solo una pregunta. Este, este solo lo vamos contestando y va corriendo una tras otra en total. Yes, bien. yes, no, exactly. No hay que tomarle, eh, no hay que tomarle captura de pantalla o algo de esto, no. Al final, sí. Al final, okay. cuando ya tenga el resultado. De acuerdo, teacher. Ok. Sí, Okay, uh, hello, welcome back. I was asking you, um, how many exercises do you solve? Just one. Just one. Okay, what about the others? Only one, teacher. Just one. Okay, someone else? Who did Only more two, than, than one? Miss Herrera? Only two. two just two. Oh, okay, just two sentences. Okay, very good. Well, um, if you want, you can do this exercise later. Um, as I said before, uh, this exercise just for practicing. Uh, you decide if you want to do it or not. But uh, the first exercise, yes, I need it because I need to check if you work or not on that exercise. And if you complete this, uh, send it or just send the screenshot too, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, um, do you have any any questions for me about the platform? I don't know if, if everything is okay. Um, I don't know if all the exercises are working, uh, or if all the 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 audios that you had for the listening part, uh, do you have it? So the platform uh, haven't present any any problem. That we need to fix there. No, teacher. No. No question, teacher. No questions. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. So uh, that's mean uh, that that's been everything uh, for this night because it's. Uh, nine o'clock and um, just a reminder uh, of the exercises there are some of you that haven't complete either the 50 percent uh, on the platform and uh, I need you to work on it because um, the the principal uh, the people the people in sure are asking us to uh, tell you that you must complete the 80% of the exercises. Remember, uh, you need at least the 80% in order to go to the, to the following uh, uh, level, that is pre-intermediate three. So, uh, solve those exercises as soon as possible because tomorrow we are ending with this course. Uh, that's mean that for tomorrow, um, you need the 80%. If you didn't complete it, if you didn't complete uh, those exercises, sorry for you, but you won't uh, be able to uh, get the diploma and also you won't be able to go to uh, the next uh, level, okay? So it, it is important to uh, complete those exercises, at least the 80%. Just the 80%. Remember that you have more than one opportunity to do it. If you fail in the first one, you can try it again. You can try it again, again, and as many times as you want. Okay? Is it clear? It's clear, yes. teacher. Okay. Very good. 
Excellent. So um, I have to say bye for now. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last video conference. So uh, I will send a reminder in the WhatsApp group, maybe uh, uh, everyone, uh, or at least the people that has been uh, so active during this course uh, can connect, okay? And tomorrow we are going to be checking just the final text. Blessing for all of you and bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.